Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Go get a types YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, so we're moving up. We're moving on up to the east side. We finally got 200 subscribers. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you for all, all everybody who subscribed. Um, got 200 subscribers at the moment of shooting this video. By the next video, I should have 1 million subscribers. So hit that thumbs up. We on a, we on a roll, y'all. So I'm gonna give, get a little bonus video. You know, the more subscribers, the more videos, the more you like, the more you comment, the more topics I get. You know, the better the video is gonna be. I'm gonna edit the videos. Do all this, do all that. But this video is um, entitled How to Sublimate a T-shirt from beginning to the end. And you see I got my handy dandy ginger beer with me. So I'm just gonna open this up right quick. Open this up right quick. Ah, see if I can get this. This ain't my usual um, bottle opener. Hold on. There we go. All right, cool. So, okay. Now we begin. The software that I use is uh, Photoshop, okay? So this is a, a, a design that I had previously um, already uploaded. So the design that I need to do to create is, it's a jersey, right? It's a jersey. Um, if you want to skip over this part, feel free to, because I'm just going to be talking. So it's a jersey. So what I'm gonna do is go to file new. I'm gonna size my um, you know, if you if you have Photoshop, I'm gonna size my my um my work zone to 1300 pixels, 1300 pixels, 300 resolution. That's what I usually do. Um, let's see here. He wants a jersey. So usually the jerseys, um, you know. The guy name is Maz. Gonna size it up pretty sweet. And when I'm transforming it, like when I'm when I'm um, making it bigger, I always hold the shift key. Cause the shift, like if I don't hold the shift key, you see how nasty it looks? Don't like that. So the shift key at least keeps it, you know, proportionate. And matter of fact, I need to open up a new one cause it's not gonna be this small. This is gonna be a small one, so. All right, so I'm gonna open a new one because once again, if you watch my previous videos, I'm using a sawgrass, and I told you about when you you when you're using the bypass tray, a lot of times it gets confused. Um, so you can't size it directly 13 by 19. So we're gonna size it 12.8 by um, 18. Let's do 18.7. Anything that's below that um, 13 by 19. All right, so now we're gonna do this. So the guy's name is Maz, M-A-Z. His jersey number is 14. All right, okay, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna change the color to black. All right. All right, so Maz 14. I usually change the font to um, um, jersey. Um, hit the like button if you want me to make a video on how to bring in new fonts to your computer. You see, you see, it's coming together, coming together. But me primarily, I don't like how small this looks. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to click and make a new layer. You see how the new layer popped up, like right here? All right, so the 14 is going to be a new layer. We're gonna make it bigger. Cause I need it big for the jersey. Oh Lord. All right, baby, go ahead. Need it big for the jersey. All right. Okay. All right, here we go, here we go. Are y'all paying attention? There we go. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm moving a little fast cause I'm, I'm a pro at this. Um, if you want me to make a Photoshop tutorial, I most certainly will. All right, so I'm gonna size it down cause I know my shirt is gonna be, um, 
shirt proudly. All right, so here we go. All right, so I had a little minor inconvenience. So basically, we're gonna size this up. Maybe make it um hmm. Maybe 12 inches tall. That's what we're going to do. 12 inches tall. So that's good enough. All right. Okay. So now we're going to click on the 14 layer. See how big this is. Okay. All these little notifications popping up. I could have sworn I turned my notifications off. <laughs> All right. Messed up my video. All right. So, um, what I'm gonna do is rasterize this layer. I'm going to merge them as well. Blah, blah, blah. I wanna hurry up and get to the good part. Um, this guy, the client, usually likes a, um, like a camouflage type of, type of um, background on it. So I'm gonna give him the, the camouflage background. Stretch it out a little bit. Do it like that. Bang, 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 bang. All right. So then we're going to go. To, we're going to save this file. This is going to be the, the sublimation file for the back. Um, we're going to save as okay. Mass M A Z. We're going to save it as a JPEG. Blizzard Blam on the desktop. All right. Cool. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Cool. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to minimize this. Take a sip from my ninja beer. I don't know what brand this is. This oh, this little little brand is good. And then we're gonna come over here. All right, y'all. So this is my little setup over here. So I already had my um, heat press preheating. It's preheating to um, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, I kind of put it a little over 400 degrees just to be on the safe side. Had this heat press for a year. You know, it's been nothing but reliable for me. Um, 60, put it at 66X, six, six whatever. All right, just a little bit over. I'm gonna throw this over here for temporarily. Then roll over to my, my second laptop. Yam, yam. All right. Oh, can y'all can't see that password. All right, so here we go. So now I need, what I need to do is, I'm gonna airdrop from this computer to that computer. So what I'm gonna do is um, just straight up, click on this, I share airdrop. All right, okay, MacBook. Done, there we go. It should be over here then. All right, so they said the airdrop was received. Okay, bam, as you see, man's right there. So we're printing out two, okay? Um, so this is gonna be the front of the jersey. This little gorilla face is gonna be the front of the jersey, dot sublimation. Um, this is gonna be the back. And this is gonna be the the um, the other t-shirt, okay? All right, cool. So, oh yeah, by the way, y'all, <clears throat> guess what I did? I changed the ink. I changed the ink already. So this is the old ink cartridge. As you see, this is the XC ink. This is the old stuff. I ran out not too long ago because once it gets low, um, you're definitely gonna know. Like it's gonna start shrieking and your your colors are not gonna be coming out, you know what I'm saying? It's bright. So So we're gonna take a look up in here. Say the same stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, take a risk if you if you if you wanna take a risk on getting the um aftermarket ink. Um allegedly it's gonna void your warranty. <sighs> allegedly some people have been saying that um you know what I'm saying that it's been messing up their computer and all this, da da da, da. Um, 
but it, I've been I've been seeing I've been having nothing but a good experience with this ink. I'm not gonna lie to you. And as you see, you know, everything is full. You don't need no chips, no crazy BS that people talking. Everything is good, okay? All right, so we still gotta Jimmy rig this thing up though. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> still got my tape. All right, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna open up the print manager. My fingers are crossed. Hopefully everything goes through real smooth. All right, so we're gonna go to that um the the first T-shirt. Yam. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and click print. Why is that like that? Oh, oh yeah, that's the wrong file. I was about to say. How to say? Logo three. Hold on, which one is it? Oh yeah, there you go right there. About to say, I already sized. You know, I sized my stuff up, y'all. All right, cool. So what we gonna do? All right, so this print settings is at polyester fabric, high quality text print R. We, we're printing from the bypass tray. Boom. Okay. As you see, I don't have any paper there because I know it's gonna take forever. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just get some paper. Right. Okay, and then we just wait. Everything's plugged up. We keep our fingers crossed because you know with this machine, you know what I'm saying this is you gotta pray on this machine, y'all. Uh, you know you gotta pray for this machine. This don't work one day, the next day is is fucking up. <laughs> all right, oh it worked. Okay, all right, we Gucci, we Gucci. All right, good. And it's getting, you know what I'm saying? It seems like the more and more videos I'm you I'm making, the faster it's uh printing out. So y'all gotta make sure you hit that like button. Alright, so these are the shirts. I'm gonna be using these shirts. I'm just opening up the bag so I can get to the shirts. Yeah. Try not to rip the shirts up. Because a lot of times when they they come packaged in a little, a little zone stick coming. Come in a little. They come in a little funky, funky. So we got our sublimation tees. Sublimation t shirts. And let me know if y'all want me to um, do a video on you know, where I get my t-shirts from. You know what I'm saying? Nice little sublimation jokes. 100% polyester. So make sure you, um, you're doing 100% poly. All right, 100% polyester. Or you can do a, like a 50-50 blend. I've seen, um, I've did a couple t-shirts with a 50-50 blend. And I like the look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the, I love the look. It looks very, um, like a vintage. Like a you like a little vintage, right? And also, um, what I do, I also have some butcher paper. This is um, like craft paper, you know what I'm saying? You can sublimate with this too. Um, somebody looked out and gave me a free roll. Like I did some graphics for him, and uh, homie gave me a free roll. So I was like, shoot, let me go ahead and use this. And sometimes what I do, like if I run out of paper, you can cut this. And put it in your um, sublimation printer. All right. Okay, Doki. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'll just cut a little, cut a little bit off. All right. Place the joint on a heat press. You know what I mean? Place it on a heat press gel. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna put the shirt. I think this one is calling for a small. Calling for a small. So we're gonna do it, hook it up with a smell. Right. So we got our shirt on there. See the shirt? 100% polyester. 
The artwork is printed out. Printed out, okay. All right, so we, we, we looking real good now. We looking real good. You know what I'm saying? Everything looking real Gucci Gucci. All right, so at this point, um, some people, you can tape your, um, you can tape your design on here. I have like the heat tape. Um, but if you don't want to tape it, you can kind of eyeball it once again. Uh, just play around with it because I'm a, you know, I've been doing this for like 10 years. So I can eyeball it. You know, usually it's with four fingers down, uh, four fingers down from the collar. So, uh, but usually since it has like a little crown, like if it's words, then I will center it like four fingers down from the collar. And what four fingers down is, is this. So you see where, where this little pinky is, I will place the graphic like right at the pinky. But since this has like a, a peak, has this little peak right here, I place it three fingers, you know what I'm saying? Because it'll look kind of crazy. I feel like it it goes down too low if you put it at four fingers and they got like a little peak, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my method. You can put it without, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's three or four fingers, you straight. No, no, no. Matter of fact, you're not straight. Just, just make it four fingers. <laughs> just do four fingers. Because if you do um, three fingers and it's like words, it'll look crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, so we're just gonna place this down. You know what I'm saying? Three fingers, three fingers. Hook it up like that. Boom, boom, boom. For those of you who are curious, all right, that's on in the middle. It's 54 and one half. All right, straight. It looks straight to y'all. Hit the thumbs up. Alright, so then we're gonna slam it down. Yeah, hook the pressure. So now we wait. Usually during this time I get a little get a little working out in. <laughs> Do a little exercise. You know, keep the blood flowing. Ugh. Yep, yep, yep. Shoot, if y'all want me to do a game review, look at all that. I got some new games, y'all. I got that, that new Ghost of Shishima. This thing is on point. You know, we could do some game reviews. We could do some vape reviews. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, so this is 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 18, 17, so we're just doing a little countdown. So we still have um, another t-shirt to make as well. It's very simple, y'all, very, very simple. There we go. I take my eyes off real fast. I don't even get a chance to breathe. Not even a chance to breathe. Alright, All right, so we looking real good. Yeah, that's popping, yo. We we looking real good. We looking real, real, real good, though. Yeah, we looking good. <clears throat> now I did I am not the creator of this logo, okay? I am not the creator of this logo. So I only have two problems with this logo. The first problem is this. Whoever made it, you know what I'm saying? All the jerseys that I had, they had a little little drips on it, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's part of the the design effort. Because I mean, it has been consistently like this. But it looks sweet. It looks sweet, though. It looks sweet, sweet, sweet. And I think those little drips add to the effect, like a little motion, gives it a little motion blur. Yeah, this one look hot. The colors are popping real good. And once again, that's the XC inkjet ink. Okay. All right, so. We got jersey number two. So with jersey number two, 
I'm going to set it up like I did jersey number one or t-shirt number one or whatever. That's a little crazy. They got the, the tag a little off. That's the first time I've seen it. the t-shirt label, you know what I'm saying, all the way inside the shirt, not centered, but that's crazy. But, um, yeah, so we got our shirt positions. Okie dokie. So once again, every time you print, once again, it says change bypass setting. Um, it's not a, it's, look at my previous videos. So you go to job reset, enter. That's all you do. Very frustrating, I know. But if, you know what I'm saying, hopefully my videos are helping y'all push through with the sawgrass printer. All right. All right, so we're going to open up file number two, the one I just made in Photoshop. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use a software called GIMP. GIMP is a free software. Um, I, I, hopefully, it's still free. Y'all check it out. It's called GIMP, G-I-M-P. Um, if you don't have um, software to use, you can always, you know what I'm saying? You can always pay somebody to, to fix your files for you on Fiverr or and one of these little Facebook groups. Um, matter of fact, I started a Facebook group. I want y'all to join it because I have a graphic designer in there from Pakistan. He's he's looking to do some work. He's real reliable too. Um, you know, I charge too much. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. But I, I could probably do a little something. I got a couple free files for you. If you join the group, um, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of free files, okay? Um, files that's popular files that is currently selling files is ready to sublimate okay so just join the group i'm gonna get you hooked up all right so we're gonna open up this new file um was it maz maz that's the one we just made okay so that's the one we just made on the other computer with the photoshop on it all right so it's going to automatically reverse see see 12.8 by 18.7 um we're going to get our paper. All right. We're going to drop the paper. And then... All right. And then we're just going to click print. Make sure I covered everything. But yeah, y'all um, hit the thumbs up. Um, you join a Facebook group, I get you covered with free or free info. Also, when I was first, um, when I first started out, that sublimating, I always, I didn't always have this printer, y'all. Um, I used to take big orders, big sublimation orders. But what happened was I would outsource it to a company called SK Print. I love that company. I mean, they're, they're trying, they sell the transfers alone. Um, the transfers are like a dollar, a dollar fifty. Um, the only thing you gotta do, you know, what I'm saying, just size it up, or you can pay an art fee. You know, what I'm saying, you can pay an art fee, and they'll size it up for you. But yeah, they would, they would send it. Like the only reason why I got this is because I wanted to be able to print on demand. You know, what I'm saying, like I would. SK Print is good company, but sometimes it take like a week, week and a half, as opposed to you know, what I'm saying, you just waking up printing same day a couple hours a couple minutes you know what i'm saying so that's the only reason why i got this but sk print if you're looking to get like i mean a whole bunch of images like one image two image three images you know what i'm saying or hundreds of images y'all can just go straight to them they're printed out for you shipping is fast customer service is good it's on point and then take it to your heat press you know what i'm saying you really don't even have to have a Submission printer unless you want to print at home you can just shoot it off this sk print they ship it to you you know what i'm saying that makes sense to me and uh all of the information to be in my facebook group i'm gonna definitely get y'all plugged up and uh yeah yeah you yeah, you yeah, you yeah. all right so we finished with this one so now we got another one to do uh oh my bad, y'all. I need a camera person. 
crazy. I used to be a cameraman, but now I ain't got nobody to record me. All right, so now we're gonna do the front of the jersey. This thing is printing fast today. I'm surprised. Maybe it's C. Maybe it's the ink. XC ink. It could be the ink. All right. Okay. So, um, what's the name of that gorilla jump? All right, that gorilla. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Cool. We're going to print this out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we're going to print that jump. Okay. We're good. But, man, I'm so I'm so proud of y'all. Got 200 subscribers. 200 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. So excited. All right, so we're almost done, y'all. I'm trying to... I'm, what I want to do, I really want to make the front of the shirt first instead of the back. So I'm gonna wait till this finished printing. Oh damn, I forgot. See, look, I'm over here wondering why it's taking so long. See, this error message pops up again. So job reset, reset that jump. Boop, and it should print. See, see, see what I'm talking about. But if you're um if you're doing 11 by 17, a lot of times it doesn't have this issue if you're using 11 by 17. Uh, the only time it has this issue if you were to, you know, get the bypass tray and, you know what I'm saying, you print printing 13 by 19. But 11 by 17, a lot of times it doesn't have that issue. Um, it's still it's still a little frustrating, but I, I get it print a little credit, just a little credit. A little credit now. Heat press nation, yes sir. I'm mad I just now realized I had this sticker right here. Shout out to um, Heat Press Nation. I love them. I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done here. Man, I love this XC ink, man. It's cheaper than that other stuff. Man. And it, it pops, it pops, it pops, it pops, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry off a little bit. I'm gonna just go ahead and um, print the back. I'm gonna print the back side first. I got little Jordan chilling. He's chilling right here. He ain't making no noise. Let's see here. There we go. That's that's sturdy. All right. So flip it up. Would you like peanut butter? Being a boss is also about age. All right. I never looked. And so for the back of the jersey, well, for the back of any T-shirt, you might be wondering, uh, where do I place the artwork for the back? All right, simple rule of thumb, okay. You see this, okay, you see the back. This is the top. A lot of times you're gonna feel like the neck line, like right here, a little bit under the top, you're gonna feel it. Place it right there, right a little bit underneath this neck line, and it works every time. If you place it right under that neck line, right there, all right? And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do this. Now you can feel it. It's almost like you can feel it, y'all. You know? And you know where to put it. And I'm just eyeballing this, man. I shouldn't be eyeballing it. Because I don't want y'all messing up. But I, once again, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I still mess up from time to time, but... So you, you gotta make mistakes in order to learn. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I gotta be honest. I really don't think I should be part of this here. You are being too modest. Michael, on Thursday I'm gonna drive down and interview with David for the help. Alright, so this this um this video oh, is almost at 30 minutes, bro. Ooh. <coughs> 
get it. Damn, this ginger beer. Whew. All right. Put that right there. But yeah, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what y'all want to see more of on this video. Um, I got, I got, I got two more videos planned for you because I got a new shipment of masks coming in. I'm gonna show y'all the DAS sublimation mask. Um, the supplier, he's gonna be on the group. You know what I'm saying? He can hook you up with some masks. And these are polyester jumps. I already, um, already DAS up with these jumps. But um, yeah, these are the little polyester jumps. All right. Some colors are just going crazy. Mm. Them jones look crazy. Oh hey, we have it. Hi. Alright, so we back on the front. Alright, so y'all, this is a this is a pop quiz. How many how many fingers are supposed to you know what I'm saying? Line it up from the middle. Is it one? No. Is it two? No. Is it three? Sometimes. Four. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to hook this up. This one is going to be a four finger. This is going to be a four finger. So I'm going to pop this over here. You see, the last one was a three finger. This one is a four finger. It's a tough time to run a business. But the right advertising strategy can help you take control of your company's future. Because it doesn't, the reason why this is a four finger is because, you know, it doesn't have any peaks. That's the main thing, it doesn't have any peaks. And a lot of times, um, my bad, I'm supposed to be um, lint rolling these shirts. Because sometimes, like, a little pieces of lint, little pieces of lint would um, get up in there. And look what I just noticed. They sent me a shirt with this little brown mark on it. So hopefully this does not have a negative effect on the, the overall shirt. Man, they sent me a bad gel. Alright. So we almost done with this video. This show is almost 30 minutes. It's crazy. I think this, this is probably like the longest video on my channel, 30 minutes. Yeah, man. But yeah, this is all the stuff, man. I wanted to do a review on this, on this massage gun. I found this on Amazon for the low. You know what I'm saying? You might see those ads where people are just like massaging themselves. You can see their skin jump. Yo, this jump is like that for real. This thing is official. Official tissue, yo. This thing get real deep up in your in your muscles. Official tissue. Yes, sir. And I also got some uh, my embroidery machine. I'm gonna do a video, a couple of videos on those. But you know, what I'm saying I kind of hold off on embroidery machine videos because it seems like you guys want the the t-shirt video. Everybody want the t-shirt, the sublimation video. So I'm gonna keep making what y'all want to see. You see, and this is the importance of um, always keeping this. You always got to make sure you have some craft paper or some kind of just you. Yeah, just go ahead and use this butcher paper um, or another sheet of, sheet of um, sublimation paper because a lot of times on your heat press, the image that's on the front. If you're doing front and back, it can transfer onto this. 
and cause the image to ghost on your shit. I mean, on your shirt. So, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're doing more than one, what I do is, you know what I'm saying? I make, I use one for every shirt. So if I'm doing front and back, um, and this, something like this happens, I will flip it over, fresh sheet, and then go back to this and um, get another another piece of craft paper. So we're all done. We're all done with the dye sublimation for the day. Um, hit the thumbs up, hit the like, the comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna set this back to my previous settings for my um, for my vinyl t-shirts. So that's, I, I set mine at 333 degrees for 16 seconds. All right, cool. So now we're gonna bring this shirt all the way over here. So yeah, sublimating is very easy. Very, very easy. And we're just gonna dissect this t-shirt. Um, the spot, it didn't, really didn't make no difference. Um, this is the importance of lint rolling your your shirts before press. You won't get no little, little dots like that. But it came out really good. What y'all think? Came out good, huh? So, we did two shirts on the heat press today. Make sure you guys join the Facebook group. I know the client's gonna be very, very happy about these shirts here. Very happy. The quality is amazing. For these hot summer days, it looks very beautiful. All right, and you see this is gonna be right in the center. Right in the center. It looks right good, it look good, don't it? 14. Yeah, that look real good. And the shirt number two, hook it up like that. Mm, this look good. That look real good, y'all. Look at that. Look at these colors, boy. Look at the blacks. The blacks are black and not green. All right. All right, y'all. That's about it. Um, after that, what I'm just going to do is, you know, package it up, put it in the bag, give it to them, ship it out. We good. All right, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go get it typed. Peace.